In the Global Competitiveness Report, what we're trying to measure is the productivity of countries. Why are we interested in productivity? Because productivity sets the sustainable level of prosperity that can be earned for a country's citizens. And so we're looking at a number of factors that actually drive productivity that range from the more basic to the more complex. So we're looking at things like governance and institutions, macroeconomic stability, infrastructure, health, education, of course also the functioning of markets, goods, labor, financial markets, and for the most advanced economies we're also looking at things like innovation and the sophistication of the business sector. We're covering a record number of 142 countries this year, uh, and in fact that cover all of the world's uh, regions. And some of the things that come out of the report are, for example, if you look at Europe, we're seeing that seven of the ten most competitive economies in the world uh, are European economies. The United States uh, has continued to go down in the rankings to fifth position. The United States is one of the top five most uh, competitive economies in the world for a, a number of reasons, particularly given that it's the world's innovation powerhouse. On the other hand, there have been a number of weakenings uh, across various areas, uh, in particular related to the fiscal environment, fiscal weakening, and the apparent inability of policymakers to really deal with this issue. Uh, and this has been eroding also at the confidence uh, in policymakers in the country uh, over the past few years. If you look at the large emerging markets, you see that China still leads the large emerging market BRIC economies. And looking at the other BRIC economies, we're seeing also, uh, as well as China, Brazil, South Africa uh, continuing to rise in, in the ranking this year. Well, one of the things that we're looking at is the fact that fiscal imbalances that have been building up around the world are really a danger uh, to future competitiveness in terms of the ability of countries to be able to invest in those things that will be very important for competitiveness going forward, things like education, infrastructure, and so on. So that's one sort of uh, danger zone uh, that we're noting, and it does echo uh, some of the findings that came out in our global risk report earlier in the year. On a more positive note, uh, we have been noticing a convergence uh, among emerging economies and advanced economies where we see that over recent years there has been a closing of the gap between the emerging economies and, say, OECD economies. Uh, over the past year, in fact, we've been looking at a new issue, uh, which is the whole concept of sustainability and how it relates to competitiveness. And we've been working with top experts over the past year in order to integrate the concept of sustainability more strongly into the Global Competitiveness Report. Now, what's the, what this means is that we're trying to basically see the kinds of vulnerabilities that might affect competitiveness over the longer term. Uh, and really whether countries are putting into place both what they need for, for competitiveness over the shorter term and the longer term in terms of changing demographics, uh, environmental damage, and so on and so forth. So we see this as a long-term research effort, and we do encourage our readers to provide feedback to us in order to continue to improve over time.